right, kiddos, in this video, we're gonna talk about the calculations for density. So real quick, let's review what the formula was for density, and then we'll walk through several problems, essentially one to solve for each variable. So remember that if we're writing the words out, that density is a ratio of mass per unit volume, okay? Now, bringing up units brings up a pretty good point because what are the units? Well, typically the unit of mass is grams, not always, but typically. And then for volume, it can vary for us. Um, sometimes it's cubic centimeters or milliliters, which are the same thing, by the way. You can interconvert those pretty simply. Um, or liters, okay? Liters tends to only get used for density when it's a gas or something like that. Um, typically speaking, if it's a solid, we're probably just going to use grams per cubic centimeter. Again, if we were getting real technical, usually if it's a liquid, we want to use milliliters. If it's a solid, then we want to use cubic centimeters for doing density. But those two things are relatively interconvertible. And if you know they're the same, I don't think you're going to miss any test questions on that. Okay, so there's the formula. Remember that what the formula also looks like if we reduce it down to its variables are that it is rho equals mass over volume, or we could also say D equals M over V. Rho, remember, is a little bit more correct, and that's what I'm going to use um, as we walk through these questions. Okay, so question number one. Pumice is a volcanic rock with many air bubbles. A 225-gram sample occupies 236.6 cubic centimeters. What is its density? Okay, so we got the density equation. I think there are a couple of ways that you should always work uh, problems out when you've got word problem type things like this, which is pretty much all you're going to get in most of chemistry. Um, the first thing that, that I would do is you go through real quick and make sure you know what everything is. That's my mass. That's my volume. I certainly know that not every student is going to do this, but I think that it's really helpful if you just write everything out. Mass is 225 grams. Volume is 236.6 cubic centimeters. And then we're going to plug everything in. I would also recommend, in general, plug, uh, writing down your equation. But we've got the equation written right there. So we're going to walk through this real quick. So my equation, density is equal to mass, 225 grams, over 236.6 cubic centimeters. And we're going to punch that in our calculator, OK? So take a second, punch that in your calculator. So here's our answer out of the calculator. Now, you'll notice I didn't put any units on that. That's because I have one more thing I have to do before units. If you recall, earlier on, we talked about significant figures. And so I need to round the number out of my calculator to significant figures, and then I'll go ahead and put my units on it. So remember, since we're doing division, I need to round to the same number or the least number of significant figures. One, two, three sig figs. One, two, three, four. Three is lower than four, so I'm going to round to three sig figs which means I'm going to stop there. Since that's a 9, that's going to make that go up. And so my correct answer then is this. OK? So question two. A cup of sugar has a volume of 237 cubic centimeters. What's the mass if the density of sugar is 1.59 grams per cubic centimeter? You should immediately notice that something's a little bit different in this problem. What's a little bit different is that we're looking for the mass instead of the density. We're given the density, and we already know the volume. Okay, So I'm going to write, again, I'm just, just to be sure that I know what's going on, volume, that's density. And I'm going to write out what my things are, just because I like to keep everything neat and tidy. I know for a fact that most students don't do this, but I will tell you that I've worked several thousand of these problems, probably. And I still think it's best for you to write this stuff out. Not because I want to make more work for you, but because it helps to make sure that you've got everything gathered together in the way that it needs to be. So let's plug these into our density equation. I know the density, 1.59 grams per cubic centimeter, is equal to mass is what I'm looking for. So you can either leave that as the variable m, that's what I would do, or you could plug that in as an x, but either, either way will work. Over the volume that we have, where did I get the volume from? From right there. So this is my equation. Now, I want to get m by itself, right, algebraically. So that's relatively simple, OK? We're going to get rid of this by multiplying both sides by it. Remember that your rules of algebra are pretty simple. It just says, hey, as long as you do the same thing to both sides, 
then that's legit. So I'm going to multiply both sides times 237. Okay, on this side, obviously that cancels that out. That's going to leave m by itself. If you really want to make sure that you write out all your steps, and I will, just because I'm showing you how to do this, then you can write it out like this. That is now equal to m. m is by itself now. And then we're going to plug that in and get our numerical answer. So we plug that into the calculator. We get 376.83. Again, sig figs matter, right? So go back to your original problem. I've got one, two, three sig figs. One, two, three sig figs. That means my answer should have three sig figs. So I'm going to cut it off there. That eight makes that round up. We've got 377. What are your units? Well, if we go back up here, centimeters cubed canceled out and we get grams. By the way, that's always a good check on whether or not you did your algebra correctly. If the units canceled and left you with the units that you want, I want grams for mass, then you probably did your algebra right. And if, it, if those units didn't cancel out like that, then you probably did your algebra wrong. Okay, so that's a good check. Okay, so last problem, a little bit different algebra in this one. I want to make sure that you see the algebra because sometimes students get a little tangled up in trying to figure out the volume part of it. So, what volume would occupy? So, I'm looking for volume. Would a 0 0.871 gram sample, and I'm just going to stop right there. That's my mass, right? Of air occupy if the density of air is 1.29 grams per liter. So, that's mass, that's density. Okay, and so in this case, Let's get going. Again, I'm going to go ahead and write out what each thing is. So my mass is 0 0.871 grams. My density, 1.29 grams per liter. And then let's do our algebra. Okay, we're going to plug it into the same equation. So 1.29 grams per liter is equal to, and in this case I have the mass, so that goes on the top over volume. We're solving for volume. Again, you could plug x in there if you wanted to. I tend to leave it as volume. To be honest with you, I usually solve for the variable before I plug the numbers in, but long experience in doing this shows me that that's not what students do. So I'm going to go ahead and work it out the way that you would probably work it out. So a lot of students sort of get tangled up here because they think, well, great, that's on the top. I'm looking for what's on the bottom. I just divide by that, right? Divide both sides by that, by this 0.871, and I've got my answer, right? That could not be further from the truth. If you divide both sides by, by this 0.871, then what you're going to end up with is not V, but 1 over V. You're going to end up with the reciprocal of your answer. So you don't want to do that. So we're going to do two steps of algebra just to make sure that we get everything correct. I, do, I am going to start to work to get V by itself. The first thing I'm going to do to do that is I'm going to multiply both sides by V. Okay. The reason I want to do that is I want to pull V out of the denominator. I just think that that makes all the algebraic manipulation a little bit simpler. So the cancels over there. This is my new equation. V times 1.9 equals 0.871 grams. Then, so I'm going to rewrite that just to make sure that everybody's okay. Again, if I were working this out on paper, I probably wouldn't write out each step individually. But I think that's up to you as a student. I think that you have to know what your algebra skills are. If you know that sometimes you're struggling a little bit in algebra, then you definitely want to make sure that you're writing out each step. Okay, so V is not by itself yet. I've got one more step to go to get there, and that's to divide both sides by 1.29. Okay, so that cancels. V is now by itself, and now we've just got to plug this in to get our proper number. So I'm going to plug that number in. So the answer that we get out of this is down here. So we get 0.675193. Again, sig figs matter. One, two, three, one, two, three. I need three sig figs. Going to cut that off there. And so my correct answer then is 0 0.675. And what should our units be? Well, if you cancel things properly, the grams cancel, and you had one over one over liters which is just liters, okay? So that one's a little bit more complicated, a couple more steps of algebra, but, but certainly within everyone's capabilities. Hopefully that um, little bit of reminder of algebra, that will serve you well all year because this isn't the only equation that looks very similar to this that we're going to need those similar algebra skills. All right, that's density calculations. Thanks, kiddos.